Hello, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most global markets are ticking a little bit higher this morning. Um, with the US market just getting quite close to potential resistance around about 18,000. Uh, kind of a hammer formation that we had yesterday, well off the session lows as a right in the bond market seems to be over. Um, over in the UK, um, the general election result has gone the Conservatives way with a majority of about two. Conservative Party doing way better than expected with the Labour Party getting smashed. Uh, and the UK 100 having a very strong start, yeah. massive uh, hammer formation yesterday, m huge uh, kind of bullish engulfing pattern today, it has come off a little bit from its highs, probably accelerating a little bit too quickly, but a fantastic yeah. result for the stability of the financial markets and the yeah, UK. Uh, but from a financial markets perspective, it doesn't really matter on your political views, it, it, it's good from the markets perspective to have a majority government without a coalition, and that's really pushed that a lot higher. Technicals are turning themselves around, SMACD has avoided crossing the zero line, but there is a, a bit of a strong reversal happening right here, because we obviously are down from the, from the session highs, close at 17,000 right now. Moving on to Japan, 225 just managing to keep his head above water, above this uh, this upwards trend line right here. Uh, hammer formation yesterday again, but then the ability to break past the 55 period SMA, it needs a breakout soon, otherwise it will feel the weight of that uh, of, of the downwards pressure and smash through that trend line. Um, Dollar yen, 119, still in play, nothing really to talk about here as ever, oscillating around this level, it's up one minute, down the next, small hammer formation yesterday, not showing that much of an aggressive, uh, aggressive push. Today is non-farm payroll zero, so that could be an interesting move. Uh, 55 period SMA to act as potential resistance. If we have a look at West Texas crude, it's coming off now following the doji formation that we had uh, developed on Wednesday. Um, came off again yesterday, a bit lower again today. Around about $57 is the next potential support. Uh, non-farm payrolls could be a catalyst to push that down higher if the dollar gets a shot in the arm. Gold as well, coming off uh, yesterday, moving a little bit higher today, 1186 being the pivot level, um, acting as potential resistance, so if you are bearish on gold, some people use that as an opportunity to go short, if you're bullish, you'll wait for it to break above there and target 1218. And then if we look at Euro dollar, it should have been, uh, well it's actually come off a little bit actually, from uh, Wednesday's big push up higher, uh, and it's come off as a dollar. Oh, my pet cables get a bit of a shot because of obviously the, the, the elections. I was going to say that the dollar has uh, gained a little bit of strength. It certainly has against the yen and against the euro, so it's probably just coming off a little bit. The longer term potential support is one spot, 11. We're a little bit away from there right now. Uh, Golden Cross and the moving average is still in play, and you can just see this uh, big push higher by cable, smashing through one spot, 54.24, targeting one spot, uh, 56 now. To come off a little bit from the session highs, but people may look at one spot 54.24 as an interesting entry point, depending on your views in the market. You couple that together with today's non-farm payroll figures, um, and you could have an interesting, uh, an interesting trade on there. So keep your eye on GBP USD, Euro Dollar, uh, West Texas crude, and obviously the US 30 later on in today's sessions for non-farm payrolls. If you want to see today, do you want to join today's webinar? Go to support, go to live trader events, and join our live webinar with our Michael, uh, with our major FX analyst Michael Houston over in the UK. Uh, and that's available to all of our clients, and it's completely free of charge. So do get a chance to tune in. And as ever, um, make chart forum part of your layout. Some real cool setups here by Michael Houston already um, covered. Make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.